Welcome to DevOps Dialogue by Dell. My name is Florian, and today I'm with Noam, and we're going to talk about AI Workload Orchestrator. So Noam, your day-to-day -day is in the field. What can you tell me about how customers and folks are using this AI Workload Orchestrator? Sure, Florian. If you're working on the large experiments, long training jobs, if you work in research, health care for molecular imaging, genomic analytics, at a university, or train large AI model, you're probably using HPC. And in that world, Slurm is the right tool. Slurm is a job scheduler made for scientific computing. Yeah, in the cloud native world, in Kubernetes, there is also a huge trend on AI. And open, open AI, for example, since its incubation till this uh, Ghibli viral moment, they are using Kubernetes to uh, schedule and manage their workloads. So is Kubernetes a thing from the future, for the future, or in Slurm from the past? What's your take on it? Uh, good question, Florian. Uh, let's look how Slurm and AI orchestrators are different. It's not necessarily a battle, but probably they work together. Let's break it down. Slurm is a Linux resource manager. It's an open source job scheduler. It's made for batch jobs and parallel computing. Slurm gives full control of your resources like GPUs, memory, and network. You can split a big job into smaller parts. Some parts run in order, others run in parallel, all with the simple command line tools. Slurm is perfect for training deep learning models, running simulation, or doing batch jobs across many nodes. You submit your work as job, job a place in queue. If there are not enough resources like GPUs or CPUs and memory, the job will wait. Slurm will run the job when the cluster is ready. Do you understand, Florian? Crystal here, thank you. Yeah, here in Kubernetes, it has been designed primarily or originally for microservices and therefore, you know, uh, application that runs and listens. So not only training and inference here, and so, if you want to benefit from the same capabilities that we have right there in Slurm, that is to say a uh, uh, hugely performant, fine-grained scheduler consuming GPUs, memory, and network, you need to extend Kubernetes. And Kubernetes extension works through operator framework. And usually, if you want to start in your uh, AI journey, you're going to need to have these add-ons such as Kubeflow or another app and operator that is named Q. Q, uh, that will give you the same type of familiarities for slice and dice or cluster your GPUs. In the same ID, within Cube, you don't operate directly uh, with your hardware. You're going to have operators to manage your NVIDIA GPUs. This operator will take care of installing uh, whatever is needed for the GPU to run, uh, including drivers, uh, special container runtime, etc. Same thing if you are using a cluster of GPUs with Melanox or InfiniBand, you're going to install the operator framework, NVIDIA operator uh, for network. How does it work within this Slurm world? Yes, uh, Flo, uh, Slurm, remember, Slurm is a scheduler. It's a traditional approach with the software. It does not include ML frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow, CUDA. But once you deploy it, there's uh, tools directly on the node. Slurm can reserve the right resources, launch ML job in parallel, and ensure the job runs efficiently and ensure that we can repeat again and again the job. Yeah, so two, two different approaches here, something you have to build, something that might be uh, you know, more composable and, and ready to go with through abstraction. Exactly. So now that we have these two different approaches, what, what Dell does here? How Dell can help us to uh, build such a stack? Sure. Uh, at Dell, we help uh, our customers build and run AI workloads with the best tools. If you use Slurm, we can support you with a Dell AI Factory. Dell AI Factory gives you a validity hardware for HPC and AI workload with a uh, um, best of breed of servers with uh, two GPUs until eight GPUs. We can offer the unstructured storage with uh, PowerScale or ECS for object storage. 
and we can offer um, the network with a power switch. And also, we offer the pre-tested software stacks with Slurm and ML tools, and we give the best practices to run Slurm on Dell servers. And finally, we offer the fast setup with automation and reference design and support from Dell experts for HPC and AI workload. Thank you, Noam. If you are on board within the Kubernetes journey, um, we also offer at Dell Technologies solutions that are more hyperconverged and pre-configured, pre-packaged, all-in-one around the uh, Kubernetes distribution that is OpenShift. So through Apex Cloud Platform for OpenShift, right out of a factory, you can decide the type of hardware you're going to need in terms of number of compute, memory, GPUs, and so on, the type of switches, and your even prepackaged storage. Within it, you're going to have OpenShift installed, of course, the NVIDIA operators to operate them, GPU and network if need be, plus OpenShift AI, again, directly available, installed and pre-configured. Uh, Kubernetes comes with its batteries in the sense that you have also built-in monitoring using Prometheus, Grafana, and similar tools. You have whole-based access control, and pretty much everything you are used to do through declarative infrastructure uh, you, you, is just consumable. How does it work with Slurm? Anything you can enrich and um, enrich the experience with? Yes, if you want to enrich your Slurm platform, Slurm has a plugin and there's a useful for MLL jobs. Here are a few examples. For observability, if you want to see your GPU usage or if you want to, have, to get a stat for a CPU or a CPU core hyper-threading stat, you can use that plugin. If you want to, to have um, a vision for the cost tracking, estimate how much a job costs, or track users' usage for a chargeback or budgeting uh, your project, you can use this plugin. And finally, if you want to have a, a power monitoring, see how much energy each user or job consumes, you can get, you can use and download this plugin for that. Hey, thank you, Noam. So, so we can really see and uh, perceive that Slurm is made for this uh, kind of a um, AI industrial tool to do training of the jobs, and it will talk to population like uh, data scientists and, and research. Exactly. While on the Kubernetes side, you can do training, of course, but you can also serve your model through inference. And it will talk to folks coming from DevOps mantra. Um, and so you can definitely have infrastructures, workflows, pipeline, where you're going to get Slurm for HPC training, delivering something that is then served and consumed through, through Kubernetes. And um, yeah, any, any closing words here, Noam? Yes. As I said at the beginning of this, this session, it's not necessary to opposite this uh, uh, two approach. The future of the AI infrastructure is hybrid, and their technology is one of the few players who master both worlds. Containerization and bar metal platform. Thank you very much and see you later.